Hello and welcome to Kona. We are in northern Quebec in 1970, as you can see. Powerful bear sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Well, that was littering, just throwing my cigarette butt out the window. Ooh, I can step out anywhere, they huh? Had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. So I know absolutely nothing about this game going in other than it's some kind of survival game with possibly horror elements. I really don't know, but we're going to find out. We have to go meet somebody, apparently, in this small, pretty spooky town. Driving actually feels pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. Bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Oh, well, that seems like a really good idea. Oh, I can just inspect things, huh? Oh, well, that's a flashlight. Let's put that away. How often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its gate? Oh, this is an interesting way of doing this. I got an empty bottle. That actually bodes very badly for me. Does that mean I'm going to be throwing the... What in the hell? Am I going to be throwing bottles to distract things so I can sneak by? I don't want any monsters, please. No monsters. Oh, but all of this is very spooky and, uh... I don't know. I'm feeling I'm feeling some spooks coming on already. That That's not really what I thought I was getting myself into. I thought it was going to be more of a survival game, but if it's horror, then it's horror, I guess, and that's what we're doing. Oh, but already, like, the aesthetic of the game is fantastic. I really like it. Ooh, survival gear. What is this? Oh, some fire starters? Nice. Can I pick up the tools as well? I got a bolt cutter. That's definitely going to be useful. Okay. So exploration is rewarded. You need to explore to learn and figure things out. All right. Well, we dug through the trash. We went up and stole things out of the Firewatch Tower. Now it's time to, I guess, open the gate and move right along. Oh, I can inspect this real quick. Black Atempec. A I don't know where... What is this place supposed to be? I already forgot. Oh, it's Quebec. That's Carl right. Carl was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track. Oh! Hamilton never mentioned a road-blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise him. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. To clear his conscience, a $10 bill. Carl was an honest man. What do you know? I'm going to leave money for the for the lock and for, you know, taking the bolt cutters. It's very interesting. I was supposed to, I guess, the whole time go do that inspection. Read the flyer. Sure. What is this? Man... Oh, sorry. Manistan. It will be good. Uh, okay, I had to open it. Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals can travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Get involved and invest now. Quebec's economic might will be awakened. Sorry, that was a very awkward sentence. At the heart of the wilderness... The north is swarming with wolves, caribous, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit the eagles of Africa's wildlife. We are the Africa of America. Come discover the north and experience a genuine white jungle. The, the county of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. Well, that sounds just a little bit spooky. Uh, it, it sounds like we're going to be getting into some hijinks with the animals. Okay, let's not leave this open. I'm sure this is actually something they use. So, Okay, we've explored absolutely everything, and now it's time to drive on through the closed road that we're not supposed to drive through. Into the white jungle we go. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forest, not too far from here. 
The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target could become the man Well, that seems bad. I was actually driving, by the way, but it took control at the very end there and wrecked me into that car, so I clearly would have avoided it because I'm that good. A few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. And it's looking like it's exceptionally cold out here. Oh good, the title screen, excellent. So there we are, that's how we got stuck. We're not stranded that far away. We didn't even get a mile down the road. Surely we can run back. All right, well, let's check to see if this guy's okay. The, oh God, the bridge fell right on top of him. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl needed help. Got a locked iron box for whatever reason, Isabel photo. Uh, can we look at the back of it? Is there anything written on it? Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. But Carl didn't care much about flowery language. Isabel, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Uh, well that looks like that's all that's in there. What about, uh, the trunk? Can I get Carl in there? I wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Looks like that's everything. Okay. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. All right, I've got fire starters now. Depended on it. Can I get back in my truck? Can can I drive this thing? The car's in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Okay, great. How do I do that? How do I heal my wounds here? Okay, here's my inventory. Let's look around. Inventory. I need to n n do none of these things. Back. Consumable? There we go. First aid kit. Use that, please. Oh, good. There's a there's a house. South Atem At At Atemapec. Sure, man. We made it inside. That's the important part. Excellent. It could be worse. Why is this here? Got some more fire starters. Get some matches. Even better than he had hoped, Carl Faubert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. And we're going to warm ourselves up if we can. Uh, oh, yeah. Can we start this? Absolutely. Oh, no. I don't think I can. I need, I need wood. I don't have any wood. All right. We gotta go out there. We gotta find wood. Oh, here's wood right now. Yes, excellent. Oh, finally, we're warmed up a little bit. Can I take that saw? Can I take anything that's in here? Because there's a lot of stuff I would like to take that might actually help me out. Alright, back to full warmth. That's what we needed. Alright, let's... Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and grab a log, because you never know when you're going to need one of those. And I'm going to explore just a little bit, and then we'll go pull our car out if we can. Hey, this is a nice little home base for us. We can survive here for a bit. There's logs. I've got fire starters all over the place. Okay. Nothing up there. Waste of time. Looks like there's stuff in the back, too. 
could probably light this if I wanted to. I don't know why I would necessarily want to, but I could do it. All right, let's see if we can go to our car and get it pulled out with those chains. I don't know where we're driving to, where we need to drive so badly. I mean, I know we were going to meet somebody, but I think that's come and gone now. All right, we got chains there on our back tire. Now let's see if we can get some traction. Oh, we're going to have to be careful. I'm kind of, I'm not leaning heavy on the gas right now. I'm being very careful because I can't see anything in front of me. How much gas do I have? Where can I tell? I don't see my, oh, what is this? Where are we here? Okay, we're in the correct place. A few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. There's like mailboxes and stuff out there. I kind of want to drive down them and, and see if there's stuff in those homes. Or if somebody can help me, but I know that's probably a bad idea. There's a general store somewhere. Good thing that the general store was close by. Speaking of, the general store is apparently close by, and now we're loading. Please don't crash me right out of the loading screen. This is on my SSD, by the way, so I'm surprised it's actually loading that slowly. Finally, the general store. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me in the next episode when we uh, put some gas in our truck and hopefully get out of here. Somehow I don't feel like that's going to be the case. You guys have a good one.